So, hello guys, and today I'll be doing a Minecraft mod review. Yeah, that voice is kind of weird. <laughs> so, the, the mod I'll be reviewing today is the Infinity Gauntlet mod. Very nice. And to, we'll be baby. I can't speak. We will, we will be becoming Thanos. Well, before I start, the mod is made by Volva. Volvaxel Raptor, yeah, Volvaxel Raptor. He is a good. I don't. Yeah, he's a good YouTuber. I don't know him, but his videos are good. He does a lot of mod reviews and stuff. I'll leave a link to his channel in the in the description and to the mod links. So, yes, let's check out the mods. So, first of all, you need to mine Infinity Stone or and you'll get infinity stone fragments you need to mine eight of each infinity stone ore i can't show you what they look like because well yeah they're not in the creative inventory so i can't really show you so you get the any which infinity stone ore wrap it around at one diamond so you need eight of each infinity stone ore uh, and then six diamonds to make all of them plus all the other eight of the other ones this is the purple stone also i don't really remember all of the names so don't quote me on the, the names oops I accidentally put two orange stone my favorite color is orange this is the yellow stone i know i know the green one's the time stone this is the blue stone i think this one's the space stone yeah, I'm a really big Marvel fan. I'm just not really good with names and stuff. Just a little bit on Marvel and me. So this is all the Infinity Stones. Just gonna move them up. So I'm gonna put them in order that Thanos got them. So it's purple. Then he got blue. And then... I no, 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 no. think... Yeah, well, I think it was orange. And then red, then he got green, and then the last one he got was yellow. So yeah. And then how you actually make the infinity stones, you need three gold, five netherite ingots, and a nether star. So you put the gold on the top like that, put the nether star in the middle, and then you put the netherite ingots surrounding it. And this is the infinity gauntlet. And just because we'll be fighting some mods, mobs, not mods, here I'm going to be putting on some armor, netherite armor, just because it's the strongest, put that off to the side. Now this is what it looks in your hand, very nice, this is what it looks outside of your hand, very nice, and then this is what it looks when you drop it, if I don't pick up this way it looks when you drop it, you see, acts as a 3D animation, what is really cool. So yeah, you just punch it and you get it back. Now to add the stones, you go over to the stone, you don't do that, you left click and then that happens and you go back and it's on. You, and you just do that to all the other stones. And now all the stones are here. Now to activate the infinity gauntlet, you run and then crouch. Then you see crouching changes the stones. But the first stone normally is a purple stone. So to activate it, when it says purple stone, you run a little bit, and then it says changing modes, and now it says detonate. But first, it would actually say laser, ble laser beam. So we just do detonate first. So you walk over here because you can't run because you switch. Uh, let's play some of the mobs. We'll press detonate, and I'm just gonna move them over here. And you see it explodes. Now to change it, you crouch. And now it's energy beam. You just press L2 and it shoots energy beams. And you can see this is a good mining technique too. It just mines everything that's in his way. I killed one and now I need to kill the one with the leather armor. And it does kind of get very laggy. That's why it's all, yeah. And then the next one, if you crouch... 
crouch, detonate, then a strength boost. So if I spawn down two, it was an infinite gauntlet, it has strength boost. I punch it, punch it, so I get one hit. What? Um. Okay. Uh. Um. There we, 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 we. Uh. Yeah. Look. I think my world kind of glitched. I'll be back. So I am back. You see, everything's unglitched. So. Just an update. Don't use strength boost. Last time it was working, but now it is not. Just, just for your game, don't use strength boost. Because as soon as you use strength boost and start punching something, well, it just instantly breaks your infinity gauntlet. Your and if you're wearing any armor, it all gets glitched. So don't use strength boost. You can use everything else though, but not strength boosted get out of my way sheep so next stone you just crouch when it's on purple stone this goes to the blue stone you run a little bit run a little bit I said mode switch now it's lift see so you go over to sheep you see you press L2 or hold the screen or whatever yo I just picked up two mobs by accident now I am lifting boom lift Press L2 again. You can just put him in the floor. I actually can. Goodbye, Shep. Oh, wait, I'm in Crave. Sorry about that, I was in Crave. Didn't even know. So, this just works the same. Just pick up the mobs. You could just literally just go whew. So yeah, cool. Then you crouch. Make a change. Now it's teleport. So you press teleport. And now I am invisible. Well, except for my armor. One. Now you see I am invisible. This little trail of purple is following me. Also, the infinity gauntlet is invisible. So I'd say just hold the infinity bot in gauntlet. And you get the mayfly ability, so you can just fly around. So if I even wanted to, I could just fly up here. Just teleport away. They would never know. Well, kind of because of the particle effects. You need to go back here, you press L2 again. Or whatever you, whatever button you use the stuff and st to use the item. And then it will come back. Just if you use the teleporting creative, just like a little side note, it will take away your flying ability. That's only in creative. So, let's use it again. Because I don't want to die. Use it again. There you go. And just go down all the way down back. And look, I did it. Wait. Get off of destroy a moon. Get off of lift. Go back to teleport. Okay, now I'm back to teleport. Just, just uh, now I can teleport back. So yeah, and then now the next, the last one for the blue stone is destroy moon. So if I go over here. Uh, sorry if I'm kind of well. You have to. You can't run, otherwise it'll switch. So now that I'm over here, you just press L2. Look, there's a moon, and now I'm just walking away. Look what happens. It kind of takes a while, cause it needs to load it and everything. So you see, moon bits fragments come down, and boom. See this that that part was in Infinity War, when he literally gets a moon and that like, smashes it onto the Avengers and Iron Man. Well, not the Avengers, but Iron Man, Spider Man, Drax, Star Lord, and uh, yeah, Doctor Strange. 
So you see, the moon is just bringing down fragments of itself and killing anybody in its path. Also, if you spam destroy moon, you basically like summon like a whole lot of moons and uh, millions of will come down. Yeah, I did that once and it crashed my game. You can if you want to crash your game. <laughs> so just go it. Then it just goes back to it. So it's mode mode switch now to the redstone. Oh yeah, I just realised this meant to be not the redstone and the orange stone. The kind of switch. This meant to be the other way around, but it doesn't really matter. So redstone, you run. And let it load. You run. There you go. Transform. So, let me just put my stuff back on. So you see, oh no, host coming at me. Oh no, no. Go to transform. You shoot it at them. And now, they are blocks of obsidian. So if you want to go to the nether, just do that. Three blocks of obsidian. No lava included. Sheep. Goodbye baby sheep who cares oh pesky pigs goodbye also when it doesn't lag it shoots a red beam you see oh any mobs that's annoying you just shoot it with a transform beam completely and utterly turns into an obsidian tower pillar whatever and you can use it for never portals very nice next ability Actually, I'm not even sure if there is a next ability. Yeah, I don't think there is. So that's the only one for the red. So now to the orange. Orange stone. Release. But before we get to release, we need to go on to catch. Capture, yeah. So some husks. Oh no. Just shoot an orange beam at them. When it hits. Oh, look. They are getting captured. Well, when it has armor, it's kind of weird. Basically, basically, they go invisible, and particles will go around them. So, let me just catch a uh, Shep. Come here, Shep. Shep. The Shep has been captured. How about, how about a goat? The goat has been captured. And you get the, jig, the jig. So, now, crouch. Wait for it to change. Now release. When you press release. Oh yeah. When you press release you just shoot it. At the things you want to. Like release. You see. Look the, sh the Shep's back. You want to release whatever this was. It. Spoiler. It was a goat. And then. Wait for a second. The, sh the, 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 the goat's back. You want to release, you want to release husks. Also, they don't hurt you, so all they do, they're moving. Oh no! And now they should be coming back. I am. Uh. Uh oh. Okay, mode switch. Lucky they're really slow. So, you crouch. Now, green stone. Now. This is reverse. It can't, obviously, you can't shoot to the husks. But now you crouch. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Now, they're super slow. Now, you see the ship. What we say wondering what does reverse do? Now they're babies. Literally you can make them babies. Now speed up. Now they're back. And um, and you're really, really fast. But only for a short amount of time. So yeah. That's cool. I'm gonna change it back to. Oh no. I'm gonna make them slow again. Goodbye. Oh yeah, if you look up at the sun, wherever it is, see the sun? You press reverse. Look, it, it reverses the sun. You see, look. 
I'm pressing reverse and the sun's going up. Alright, crouch. Wait for it to turn to fast, forwards or whatever it's called. Speed up. Now you do it. And it should make it go down. Yeah, look, you can slowly see, you can slowly see it going down. But, yeah. Mode switch. Then, I'll go to... The Yellowstone. There you go, the Yellowstone. This is disorientate, Bob. Look, now they don't know where I am. Basic word, look, you see, oh, look, you see me, you see, oh, you're disorientated. You're gone. Goodbye. This just basically gives you a chance to punch them. The next one is... If it works. Come on. Oh, wait, is it only disorientate for yellow? That's sad. Yeah, I think it is. Mode switch, Yellowstone. Then, now, all stones. You see, all of the stones have the animation. Now you run a little bit. Mode switch, the snap. So, you see, there's an army of husks coming for you. What do you do? You snap your fingers. See, I snapped. And look, they're turning into dust. Half of them's turning into dust. Like in like in Infinity War. They're all gone. And now they're all dying because I accidentally pressed it like a million, like one time, or uh, not two times. So most of them's gone now. And now I snap again. Just wait a little bit. Because when you snap, you need to wait a little bit because that's the, like, do all the particles and, like, and load all the stuff, so... Look, they, they, they're going, they're gone, goodbye. Have a nice time being dead, or like, non-existent anymore. Oh look, the ship died. Well, not died, but just disappear. And there goes the goat, as well. Oh, there's one more guy. Oh, you can snap him as well, because he's the only person here. <laughs> goodbye, have a nice time being non-existent. You will die. <laughs> Look, look, he's still here. Then, boop, gone. I am the almighty Optimus Han with the almighty Infinity Gauntlet. I am the most powerful person in the universe. Just kidding, I'm not. Then, now, if you crouch, this is the last bit for the all of the stones, is destroy the stones. Basically, in Endgame, we, at the beginning of the movie, Sorry if this if this is spoilers. Thanos says he completely destroyed the stones. He destroyed the stones with the stones. Don't know how that makes sense, but he did. Now, just use it. The stones gone. All gone. All gone. All gone. Well, yeah. That's basically it. I showed you everything. We killed a whole lot of husks. We made a ship go back into baby mode and come back and really, really mess him up for life. And, yeah, we became Thanos. The, well, I don't know why the day just glitched like that, but... Have a nice time with the mod add-on. If you want to get it, you don't have to get it. Remember, check out Velvoxo Raptors YouTube channel. Be in the description. See ya!